So as we were discussing with the finger, we can very clearly see the surface of the bone, the next surface of the bone, the joint line itself, and then we can see all of these fibers of tissues that come in and attach. So here we have one of our flexor tendons attaching on the bone. We can see the white lines of the fascia that reinforce the tendon, and then we can zoom in and see the attachment on the bone and make sure that that is nice and smooth. Sometimes there's tears and we can see little black spots. This is normal, however. And as we change the view, I'm going to put it in movie mode, as we start to change the view, it gives us a thorough feedback of what we're looking at. And sometimes you see little spots, like this one over here. And then as you change the view just slightly, we realize it was just distortion. So that's why you need to know what you're doing and a, a trained doc can really see what exactly is going on in here as for is your issue a problem with the surface of the bone? Are we starting to get a fracture down here? Is it a tear of the tendon itself? Um, tears can occur down near the surface of the bone, cortical, or we can, uh, cortical ruptures, or we can get them up closer to the surface. And then we can also evaluate on these guys, which is one of my favorite things, is we can actually glide those muscles. I don't know if you can see that tendon gliding this is really a slow view. I'll speed up a little bit. But I'm wiggling my finger back and forth in this view, and that tendon is gliding one direction and it's gliding the other. And so we look and see, are, is there scar tissue that adheres these two together? Very, very helpful diagnostically as for what exactly is going on in these joints. So this is why I love to use ultrasound for evaluating the finger to see if it truly is coming from the joint. If it is truly coming from a flexor tendon, we'll see whiter bits or we'll see inflammation um, or we can see stuff within the joint if, if it is coming from the joint. Um, and so that way we know exactly how to treat your injury because if it is a pulley issue, then we're going to change your, your climbing and your technique in one way. And if it is a flexor tendon issue, we have to treat it in an entirely different way. So that is why I'm such a big fan of diagnostic ultrasound. Anyway, thank you for tuning in and have a beautiful day.